So we had a little bit of breaking news this morning where Colorado State is set to join the Pac-12 in the future. But before they can focus on the new conference, they got to get through a rivalry game against a former Pac-12 foe in Colorado. Colorado State has lost four straight at home, but will host this round for the first time since 1996. Meanwhile, the Buffs have the secret ingredient and two-way star Travis Hunter, who, if you remember last year, had to leave the game due to an injury, had to go to the hospital, but he is okay. Uh, however, the Buffs have the worst ground game in all of college football, as you take a look there on your screen. Last year, it took two overtimes and 78 points to get a winner. What will this year look like? To talk about it, we welcome in CBS Sports College football analyst Ross Tucker, who will be on the call for this one. And Ross, if Saturday's game is anything like last year, we're in for a treat for sure. What are you anticipating in this year's meeting? Well, let's hope, right? I I'm, I'm hoping that it's just like last year's game because that was really one of the best games in all of college football a year ago. It's kind of wild to think that Colorado State was up 28-17 in the fourth quarter of that game and then Colorado came back and then the overtime and the second overtime and Colorado maintained their undefeated status a year ago. It was amazing. Honestly, I'm expecting more of the same. You know, it is unbelievable how important this game is to the people in the state of Colorado. You know, these schools genuinely don't like each other, right? And I think most people can relate to other uh, states that have this dynamic, you know, Oklahoma, Oklahoma State, or Texas, Texas A&M, Alabama, Auburn. That's what this is like in Colorado. And I think Colorado State, just talking with some of their alums and some of their fans, sometimes they feel like they are a little bit of a second-class citizen is how they're treated. <laughs> they're certainly talking with people in the state, a little bit of a big brother, little brother thing going on there. And in particular, that has only been more pronounced with all the attention that the Buffs have gotten the last couple of years since Coach Prime took over. And so this is Colorado State's chance. You know, they're playing the home. You mentioned first time since 1996. They're telling me it's going to be the biggest event in the history of Fort Collins, Colorado. They have been geared up and waiting for this game really for 364 days. You know, uh, to your point about Coach Prime, we're always talking about the culture in locker rooms and college football, and no program's culture has been questioned more than the Buffs. Uh, you saw last week Shadur Sanders kind of throwing shade at the O-line. We've seen criticisms left and right here. Are you concerned about the culture at Colorado football here? And especially if this season goes south for Dion, how do you think that impacts how their season plays out? Well, that's the key, I think, the last thing you said. And I think this is why it's by far the most important game of the season for Colorado, right? You know, last year, when things went south, they went really south. I mean, you know, they were 3-0, and and then they only won one game the rest of the year, going 1-8. and They really haven't proven, and I'm not sure this model, with this many new players in the transfer portal, I'm not sure this model has proven that it can overcome adversity. And so what happens if they lose this game? I mean, last year they were 3-0. and They beat Nebraska. They beat Colorado State. Now, this year they start 1-2 and with losses to both Nebraska and Colorado State. You really have to wonder how Colorado will respond, especially as they get into the meat of their Big 12 conference schedule. That's why I think this is the game of the year for Colorado. I mean, if they win this, then they can kind of feel like they got back on track. Nebraska was a one-game thing, and maybe they can do some damage in the Big 12. If they lose this game, boy, it just feels like there's the potential that it could really get ugly in Boulder. Listen, one thing you said that stood out to me the most, it is going to be an exciting game, the biggest game of the year happening for Colorado State, and we are so excited to listen to you on the call. Our Ross Tucker helping us getting ready for the Rocky Mountain Showdown this Saturday. Ross, thanks for being with us here. So one final look. We've got a doubleheader coming up on Saturday. Of course, it starts with Notre Dame at Purdue. Rivalry weekend comes early in college football. Uh, so you get that game at 3.30, but then stick around on the network because that Colorado at Colorado State game, as Ross mentioned, going to have all the fireworks, all the drama, and all of the Dion Prime Sanders drama that comes with it. Kicking off at 7.30 Eastern on Saturday, CBS and streaming on Fairmount Plus.